So let's talk adaptive cruise control. Um, we've got radar on the front of the car. There are actually two radars on the rear as well, uh, but they're for blind spot warning. Um, we'll talk about those on another video, or um, we might talk about them a bit later in the journey. I've got some interesting stories as to experiences with those. Oh, blow it, let's talk about it now. Okay, my interesting experience with the rear radar, and there are probably going to be a few people out there that are going to go, what? No, it doesn't do that. Nothing in the manual about it. So my experience is, I've been driving, minding my own business, in the inside lane, I've had somebody come up very rapidly on my outside and on a couple of occasions out of the three times I've noticed this they've been wanting to cut across me from lane two or even three on the motorway uh, across lane one to get on the slip road right at the last minute. Now you would think to yourself well if that's the case then you know how does the rear radar pick that up if you're not signaling because the idea is as you signal <coughs> excuse me as you signal it warns you of something in your blind spot well yeah that's true but actually what I've also noticed is that it also started to move me with the steering <coughs> oh dear excuse me with the steering across the carriageway, uh, not into the hard shoulder, but it did move me far enough over that actually I wasn't in the way of these, what should we say, not so careful drivers that were coming rapidly from behind and coming towards me. So let's just let that sink in a moment. Yes, of course, this car does have forward collision avoidance, but nothing's mentioned about rear collision avoidance. And yeah, yeah, the first time this happened, I thought to myself, really? Are you just imagining that? The second time, I was like, okay, so actually, it really does do that. Now, the third time that this has happened, I was in lane one, and I had a guy in a car basically come up behind me and he was directly behind me and as he came up behind me he decided he was going to cut in front of the vehicle that was on my right hand shoulder so there was a very minimal gap. This time my collision warning went off and I actually started moving towards the hard shoulder, not across the hard shoulder, but nevertheless, still took me across to the left. Um, again, people may not believe this, but that guy, yes, he went through the gap that was there, and uh, I carried on my merry way. So, uh, yeah, quite amazing. Okay, so forward cruise control, here we are, we're on the A14 now, we've just come out of the roadworks and you've seen me speed up. Uh, I've now got cruise control on, we're doing 70 and we're now starting to slow down and as the price moves out of the way, we're coming up to the bus, again it's picking up the bus in front and we're slowing down. Move to the right. Again, we start to speed up. We were going from 56 mile an hour back to keep pace with the Prius in front. So, active cruise control works on the radar at the front, and as you're driving along, it will keep a distance. We've got four distance settings. At the moment, I'm on level three, so you can see the distance that I've got. Level two brings me closer. Just selected that now, speed's picking up, and yeah, we're now having settled at that distance. 
distance and then level one. Which again, we're just getting edging a bit closer and closer. I still think that's a reasonable distance. Um, it, it's not obviously encouraging you to tailgate. So I personally prefer level two, level three, level one. I just don't think it gives it quite enough time to react. Now look as we move into the inside lane, it's now going to pick up the lorry so we start gaining on the Prius, which I don't really want to do because he's going to think I'm undertaking him. So this is the problem with level one. So we'll put it back to level three and we'll hold station behind the lorry here and make a bit of traffic behind. So yeah. Um, cruise control is good. You've got to watch for traffic suddenly moving out of the way. And also, if you change lane, you've got to be prepared for it to pick up speed if you're set at a high speed. So we'll have another example here. I'm doing 70 on cruise control, but actually my, my actual speed is about 56. We're moving into the right-hand lane. And again, just feel it start to accelerate. Away we go, and we are now at 70. Price is coming in front, and at his speed we know earlier was about 65. And sure enough, we decelerate now, 64. This distance, this is level 2 distance. Um, to tell you how to set this, so basically on your steering wheel you have a mode button on the right hand side, press that, it comes up your cruise control on the dashboard, you press down on the lever underneath it for set, and you can then adjust your speed plus and minus from that. Uh, the radar controls your speed in accordance with other traffic, so it's doesn't matter if you're even sitting in stationary traffic and it will bring you to a complete halt if it needs you to do so. You can have the speed set to 70 mile an hour or even higher if you're that way inclined and it will, will take you to that speed as soon as the road is clear in front of you. If it's not clear in front of you, it's not going to take you any closer than the distance that is prescribed. To alter the distance prescribed, if you look up again on the right hand side of the steering wheel, and there is a symbol of a car with three lines there. You can also get a graphic representation of this by pressing the menu button, which is next to the mode button. And it's on the preferred display which is the same display that shows you your tyre pressure um, levels. It also shows you lane keeping, you get a green steering wheel on that display. And it also shows that your cruise symbol and the fact that it's set at 70 mile an hour. do another video about this at some point where you can actually see the dashboard but obviously I can't move the camera and hold the camera whilst I'm driving even though we are on lane keeping assist so the car can steer itself. Um, I do have my hand on the steering wheel at the moment which you should do at all times as the price got out of the way now so let's uh, clear the price so we're going to Either side of it, light green when it's working, and 
indeed on the display which I'm referencing, which I will show you in another video. It's uh, actually lights up with a green steering wheel. So we've got a situation here where a lorry is now moved into the outside lane. It's helpful if the lorry actually stays in its lane, of course. And that's uh, radar-guided cruise control. 